going now is to ginger those that refuses to come out because of nonchalance. They assume nothing will happen if they will win. Don't let us go that. So we want to win this time, we want to win big. The last election, maybe we had 35,000 compared to PDP is about seven or 8,000. We're thinking of if we have about 700,000 registered voters who have collected their PVCs here, we are trying to see why can't we take 50% out. So at least, majorly for the sake of Ashiwa Jews, federal election, because if we can get up to 350 or 400,000 votes, which is a big job now, because they are used to not coming out to vote, they just collect the PVC, they use it as identity card. So we are trying to appeal, we are trying to go to them, find a way to appeal to them. They have every reason to be complaining, because the, the progress that the general public is saying is slow. Even the party members you want to ask to go and talk to them is not that happy. So it's a bit tough, but that's that's the target. This notion about the youth are angry, the youth are angry, the youth want a change and so on. It's generally being pandit by the pro COVID section. Yeah, there's a large new voters coming. Every election you have the large new voters joining. Those that are just reaching the age of the, the, the voting range. It's every election they come. So what's so special about this one? This one that we're talking about, people want to say, is it the SARS are policemen. Are they reporting to Tinubu or are they reporting to me as APC? The police structure has always been the police structure. Whether you are PDP, whether you are APC, whether you are NEC, whatever, is the police that is the police. If they have issues with in their rank and file, or in their recruitment method, or in the management of the force, issues that are at stake is that are the policy. How do we rejuvenate it to avoid the kind of things that is happening? Those are the challenges that we should be talking about. Now, the, the youths have been brainwashed, and that's why you see a lot of noise. And that's why we are telling our members, these youths you are talking about, are they not our children? The policy that is being dished out from Abuja, it affects both APC youth. Oh, is it because I'm APC when I go to the first station and they sell? Fell to me at a lower cost? Is it when my wife now goes to the market? She buys cheaper than what your wife will buy? These are policies that affect everybody. We are ready to sacrifice. Foundation has been laid by Buhari as it is. The job is easier now. It's policy. Policy, policy, policy. Put the right people at the right place. When somebody said the Japan, Japan to where? Those in that country, are they that comfortable? Have you seen deep? pictures of where you are going to go to us you see people sleeping on the it's road where you don't take the interest of the people into decisions you are making that's where you have this kind of backlash i want my constituents to vote for ashiwa dibola amet in emmas you are not the kind of uh, two three votes i want them to come if what you have at the polling unit is 300. If I can get 250 out of that 300, I will really appreciate it. Exactly. Let me appeal to all the constituents. That's in the faculty, a federal constituency as a whole. To vote en masse for APC candidates, starting from the presidency. Our enigmatic governor and his deputy. The member for Senate, she is the only female among the three senators. So we really appreciate if the women can come out to support their own. Our 
member house of rep and members in the house of assembly who will really appreciate if the constituency can rise up to the challenge and deliver at least nothing less than 300 to 350,000 votes for a faculty.